Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and as you can probably tell, I am dealing with some allergies and a cold. I just got home from Gen Beauty and it was so much fun. It was so exhausting. It completely wiped me out. I wouldn't have changed a minute of it, but I did bring home an extra souvenir of this lovely scratchy voice. So let's just pretend that it's really like raspy and sexy and not gross. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would rather see a palette swatch and review on one of the NYX In Your Elements palettes or one of the new Lime Crime palettes. And the overwhelming response was you wanted to hear about one of these new NYX palettes. There are six different versions of the In Your Element palette. I have the metal one. There's also earth, fire, water, wind, and air. So I'll pop up some pictures here of what those other palettes look like. I believe the metal one is the only palette that doesn't have any mattes. So I did pull in two extra matte shades to create my eye look today. And this eyeshadow is giving me serious mermaid vibes. So if you wanna see how I got this look using this NYX metal palette, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll do a quick tutorial. These palettes are quite expensive as far as NYX goes. I think that they've been really upping their quality and we've been seeing the price go along up with that. This palette does retail for $29.99, however, Right now, it is on sale at Ulta for $20.99. I'm gonna try to get this video up today, so hopefully that price will still be standing when this video goes up. This is the outer packaging. It has this really gorgeous, explosive, elemental art on it, and the shades are pictured on the back. You may notice that the shades have numbers instead of names, and these numbers don't coordinate to any shade names that I can find. I believe that the shadows are just numbered. The palette itself is a heavy duty plastic. It does have a clasp and not a magnetic closure. There are 12 eyeshadow shades inside as well as a really nice big mirror. There's no brush or applicator of any kind. I noticed on the back that shades two through 12 are called eyeshadows and shade one is called a pressed pigment. So this is shade one. I have not worked with it yet, but I am gonna swatch all of these. So we'll see how it feels in comparison to the other shades. We're gonna go to the swatches now and I do like to do both finger and brush swatches when I swatch a palette. However, today I'm gonna do things just a little bit differently to kind of cater to this particular palette. So usually I do finger swatches on top and brush swatches below just on the back of my bare hand. Today when I do my brush swatches, today when I do my brush swatches, I am still gonna use the same brush I always use is just this little flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f but I'm going to be wetting my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. I feel that's the best way to apply these shadows and I don't think that there's really any point in showing you just dry brush swatches because I don't think that's how this palette is meant to be used. So we're still gonna do finger and brush swatches, finger swatches on top and brush swatches below, but all the brush swatches will be with a brush wet with MAC Fix Plus. This is the top row of the palette, shades one, two, three and four with the finger swatches on top and the damp brush swatches below. I think that these look pretty much exactly the same when applied with a finger and when applied with a damp brush. I do experience a little bit less fallout if I use a dampened brush compared to when I use my finger to apply. And I do think that these look maybe a little bit smoother. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the shadows just look a little smoother, a little flatter, and these tend to look, I don't know, more glittery, not, chunky is not the word, but these just look slightly smoother in person. Here we have the middle row from the palette, shades five, six, seven, and eight. And I think that shade number five is really, really special. It's kind of hard to tell on the back of my hand on camera, but this appears to be a really light shimmery pink in the pan, and in person it has this really, really beautiful green duochrome shift. I think this is one of the most special shades in the palette, which is saying something because there's a lot of gorgeous, shimmery, magical shades in here, and I think this is one of the standouts. 
This gunmetal shade, I'm sure you can tell it looks a lot brighter and bluer when applied with a damp brush. Whereas something like this gold or this really pretty greenish blue look very similar. This shade is on the inner half of my eyelid today and if you are a magical mermaid, you need this shade on your body immediately. This is the last row in the palette. So we have shades 9, 10, 11, and 12. What I like about this particular section of the palette is I do think that these shades are quite approachable for somebody who's maybe trying to step out of the box a little bit and add a little color to their eyeshadow look, but it's not so bright, so overwhelming. It's just that right balance between colorful and shimmery, but I do think this is still really wearable for the everyday person. Now that you've seen all the swatches, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial and then I'll give you all my thoughts, pros and cons on this palette at the end of the video. Of course, I'm starting off with my all-time favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Then I'm gonna use a white matte shade also from NYX called I Have a Headache to set that eye base down. And the last extra shade I'm pulling in is another matte single from NYX. This one's called Underneath It All. And I'm using that very deliberately as my transition shade because I am not gonna go back in and add any more of the shade once I start working with the shimmers. And I'm also using that on a little pencil brush and just adding a little bit of that to define the lower lash line as well. Now it's time to go in with the NYX Metal Palette. I'm using shade number four and I'm just using my fingers with all of these shades today and building that one up a little bit on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm gonna go in with my all over lid shade. Again, using my finger to apply it. This is shade number nine and I'm gonna pat that all over my eyelid very carefully, trying hard not to get that into the crease because once this glitter touches the lid, it's pretty difficult to move it around. Now I'm gonna go with my inner corner shade. This is shade number five and I'm just using my pinky to start to build that up. Then I'm doing a little blending with a synthetic brush with no product before I add any more shades to my lid. Now it's time to take the plunge with this beautiful teal blue green shadow. This is shade number eight and I'm just applying that to the inner half of my lid. Then I'm going back with a little bit more of shade number five to add some more punch to that inner corner. And again, just blending out with a bare synthetic brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth. After that, all you need to do is curl your lashes, add some mascara. You could definitely add some liner and false lashes for some more drama but I absolutely love the way this metallic mermaid look turned out. Overall, I have mixed feelings about this palette. I love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. There is a really great high quality mirror in here. It's really big, it's nice and clear. I do think this is the kind of mirror that if you traveled with this palette, you could use this mirror to do your full face of makeup. That's a big plus for me. I don't know how high on your priority list packaging is, but this packaging I really like. I like the way the palette's laid out. I don't mind that the colors are kind of random because I don't feel that this is meant to be used on its own. I do think that this is a companion palette. It does need something else to go with it. At least for me, these shades really need some mattes or at least some satins to help balance out all that bright, shimmery, glittery goodness that's inside here. For me, if I'm gonna spend $30 on a palette, I really wanna be able to use just that palette. And I think all of the other Elements palettes have matte and satin finished shadows inside, but that is something to consider with this particular one. I have tons and tons of eyeshadow palettes. I have so many all matte palettes, and this will be a great companion to those. But if you're not somebody with a massive eyeshadow palette collection, then that's something you wanna consider. I don't think that this is a standalone palette. I think the shades in here are really exciting. There's a great mix of 
very wearable shades that you could put on and wear to work during the day. And there's a great mix of really fun shades that are bright and bold and can really push you out of your comfort zone. I know they pushed me out of my comfort zone because I'm wearing blue and green eyeshadow right now and I never do that. But I really love the way that these shadows look. I think that all of these shadows feel and perform a lot like pressed pigments. So in my opinion, the best way to use these is to apply them either with your finger or with a damp brush. I found that these shadows applied beautifully with both of those application methods. While I don't think that these are the easiest eyeshadows in the world to work with, I do think this is something that can be pretty approachable if you are kind of an intermediate eyeshadow user like myself. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an expert, but I have used my fair share of eyeshadows and I did find these quite easy to work with. You just wanna take your time and make sure that you're applying them precisely where you want them. While they do apply beautifully and they look beautiful on the lid, they're not really the easiest thing in the world to blend out and kind of erase any mistakes that you might make. As long as you take your time with these, I do think you're gonna find them to be fairly easy to work with. That's all for today's video. I am gonna go rest my voice for a little while, but I would love to hear what your thoughts on this palette and the other In Your Element palettes are. Please leave a comment and let me know which ones you're most interested in. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> and that's my finished eye look. <sighs> Grease shade. Do they not have names? They just have numbers. That's boring. Here, I'm gonna zoom in more. Ooh, it's so close. Ugh. I'm gonna put some like blue green on my eyes. I never ever do that and I think now's the time. My fingers are covered in glitter. Oh, my voice sounds terrible. This is for everyone who says that all my eye looks always look the same. This eye look is dedicated to you. When even coffee can't heal you, you know it's bad. Look at that, I have blue and green eyeshadow on. Oh, never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. My lip combo though, Papa Don't Peach and Under the Sheets for MAC. This like glittery lip gloss with this glittery eyeshadow is, it's giving me feelings. I wish they were throat healing feelings, but take what you can get. I'm really supposed to film other things today too. How I will survive to do a voiceover for the tutorial, I have no idea. I'm sorry I sound so bad. I promise I'll rest my voice, but I'm probably gonna be scratchy in other videos. Ooh, sorry. That's, oh, ow. I was supposed to film two videos today. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm just, I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through. I actually don't feel that bad, I just sound bad. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go edit this whole video now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.